quite funny, isn't it? You sit down to do some quiet painting and think it'd be good to capture it on photographs. And then actually, it'd be even better if I could catch it on a video so you can see even better how I'm doing this. And this is ombre painting on pottery, which is a challenge because you've got to blend it so it looks like one colour goes into the other without having a border on it. And then because I'm sat in the window here in the studio and two little girls stopping by to have a look, which is great. And then you record their conversation at the same time, which is not so great. Anyway, as you can see, I've got four colours on the go here. I've got... Um, a light purple in the centre and then I've got dark pink and then I've got English rose you've got to keep your wheel moving and your brush Going from one colour to the next, go from light to dark or dark to light, whichever you prefer. Keep your brush wet. You need three layers of the colour. I've done about that. Now I'm just going to go back with my glasses on. I'll be making improvements. And do with a little bit more pink on the pink. Because obviously if you've got a wet brush you go over it, it can kind of almost wash it off. Bring it back in and if you see I'm seeing just moving my hand from side to side, I'm not bringing it towards me. I'm letting the banding wheel do the work. It's hard to do this. I'm spinning my fingers to make the wheel go and I'm talking and concentrating <laughs> and the plate's going round in front of me with different shapes on it. And then if you just bend your brush around the edge and use a banding sponge to put the purple on the edge and stop and have a look. Let's put a little bit on where it's missed it. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that that looks blended. Fingers crossed. Brushes crossed. Just let it dry a little bit. If I pick this up now and show you, and you see the colours blended, there's a unicorn in the centre, and I have some star, sticky stars on it to act as stencils. Very, very carefully, I'm going to prise them off. I might need to use a scraffito tool to get them because I don't want to disturb. paint around them, pick them off carefully, I could probably reuse those if I stick them back on the sticky sheet, we'll see what happens. There we go. You may be able to see the stars that are appearing. We'll turn it around so it's the right way up. Can you see there? Uh, we brought the stars on, and then I'm going to cross my fingers that this works, otherwise, it's going to be a really pretty plate anyway. And <laughs> there you go. How happy am I? There we go. 
magic unicorn plate ombre painting. So maybe I should do this as a workshop. You tell me. Children could do this. Adults could do it. Saturday morning, maybe. Watch it. Answer the questions. Pop them in the comment box below. And hopefully this will get uploaded to Facebook and you'll be able to answer the questions I've just asked. Have a great day.